Now, John Hughes' land government has taken delivery of bulletproof cars for use by the presidency. At least five cars have been flown into the country from Dubai. Government is yet to uh, officially talk about this, and that's happening now. Uh, close sources say the vehicles are uh, some uh, same luxury cars that were procured by the Mahama administration. President John Mahama ordered the supply of 43 specialized vehicles worth more than $9 million, barely eight days to the handing over uh, of power documents cited by Joy News have revealed. Information Minister Mustafa Hamid is currently interacting with the media on this. ...and realize that the, the others will be superfluous. And in lieu of that, you guarantee the safety of the Ghanaian people too, through equipping the police to be able to keep us safe. So it's a win-win for everybody. But traditional process, were you the ones who made the request? No, that's not true. I mean, the, the NDC since admitted that they did it on their own, and, and they know that. It was uh, Dr. Clement Park who made that allegation. And when he was challenged to prove his point, you know, he, he couldn't prove anything. So that, that's no longer an argument. In the statement you quoted, you did mention that uh, you stick to the contract if you realize that it was transparent. Is it to suggest that you looked at it and you find no fault with it? That is why you went out to even want to make renegotiate it and get uh, some of the benefits replaced? Yes. Can we wrap it up? Yeah. All right. So that's it. Um, <laughs> I wish who can do tree? Who better me have the tree? I bet you versus a pepe tree. The whole thing is. So Information Minister Mustafa Hamid there uh, briefing the media or having an interaction with some media people on uh, some bulletproof vehicles that government has taken delivery of. We'll bring you more on this uh, later.